Leaping Letter C E T V. Come on, let's celebrate creativity with teacher, creature, teachers, and friends old and new. Books and songs from our library for you. Read, sing, open up to see. With me, Lori Story. Welcome, friends, to Leaping Literacy Library's ETV Sea Splash with Fish Swish. Today we are playing with fish. Do you like fish? Do you have fish? Some people have pets that are fish. Do you? Well, I kind of do. <laughs> there are a lot of sea creatures in my bathrooms. I have two bathrooms and lots of fun sea friends live in each bathroom. Deep blue sea, mama, deep blue sea. Deep blue sea, mama, deep blue sea. Deep blue sea, mama, deep blue sea. It was Well, these are the kind of fish that can swim outside of water, although most fish cannot. So let's learn about fish. Let's have some fun with fish and let's make well, friends with you. Well, hello, you two. You seem Ooh. so happy. Yeah. yeah. I'm who happy are, now that I found my friend Phyllis. Who are you? Yeah. I'm Bubbles. Bubbles. And I'm and Phyllis. Yeah. Oh. And who are you? I'm Gold. Gold. I'm a deep diver. Oh. And I'm going to the Galapagos. Oh, the oh. Galapagos. And that sounds like it's a far away place. It's a yeah. far, far piece from here. Wow. Oh, gosh. You have to go all the way down to the Arctic Ocean <gasps> oh. and around to get to the Galapagos. Oh, Will the water be warm or cold? Well, I don't know, but I'm hoping it's going to be just like it is here. Oh. You want to stay with us, Galupu? I wouldn't mind it, but I'd like to keep moving, too. Well, oh. maybe come back and visit and tell us what you find. Well, yeah, you, you could I, tell I us. Find, I find sea ditches. Oh, oh. way and down way deep. Way deep. Deep. Yeah. Yeah. deep. Way deep. You are a deep diver. Canyon yeah. sometimes. Yeah. All right. Well, you come and tell us everything that you find out, okay? I'd be glad okay. to. All so right. You want to sing our happy song for the road? Oh, okay. Okay. Let's, Let's all sing. I'm so happy, happy just to be. be. I'm so happy living in the sea. I'm so happy, happy me. Bye-bye, oh. Bye-bye. Oh, Phyllis, thank you. I love it here. I do, too. Oh. And I'm glad you're here and we could be friends. Yeah, I'm so happy to be your friend, Phyllis. Yeah, bye-bye. Bubble, bye. bubble, bubble. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Oh, yes. It is always fun to have fish friends and to give fish kisses. My cuddly fish friends are easy to kiss. Fish Kiss, a Lori Story Book. Fish, fish, who do you kiss like this? I kiss a sick chick and give a slick gift. Then I swim away swift and quick. Swish! Fish, fish, who do you kiss like this? I kiss a gill or a fin that can spin, spin, spin. I kiss a chin, I kiss a grin, I kiss the skin, a smile comes in. Fish, fish, fish. fish. Who, who do you kiss, kiss like this? I kiss Sid the squid who can flip, I kiss the lip of a ship, I kiss a kid like you who can dip and then drip, 
drip, drip. Ew! <laughs> Can you read all the words in Fish Kiss? Dixie the Dictionary Duck delivering dictionary definitions. Fin, the part sticking out from the body of a fish. It helps them swim. Gill, the part of the fish that breathes like a lung in a human being. Fowl, owl, can you read all these words with me? Penny, punctuation, peacock, use punctuation for expression. Use a question mark to ask a question. Who do you kiss like this? Use an exclamation mark to say it big. Swish. Oh, hey, Uncle Fido. Hi, <laughs> So glad to see you. Oh, you won't believe it. I got to go back to the beach. Oh. Oh, yeah, my people, they have this house there that, that we can go to and visit sometimes. <laughs> A house? Right yeah. on the beach? Right on the beach. <laughs> and so I got to play in the sand some more. Ooh. Ooh. And this time I even splashed in the water just a little bit because my people got in the water. And they were... Um, what, the, what do you call that when people, they, um, they swim? Swim! They went swimming oh. in the ocean! Oh my gosh! Isn't that great? Yeah! Yeah! Well, 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 dogs don't swim, do they? Hmm. Well, I just did a little bit of splashing, but oh. I have gotten in water before, but that water was really cold and kind of, like, scary with the waves. <laughs> <laughs> um, but when, when I got in water before. I didn't like swim like my people. Did you swim no, like that? No, dogs, dogs, dog paddle. They use their feet oh. to go back and forth and it moves them in the water. Oh. I've done it before. Yeah, dog paddle. Oh. So dogs paddle, but people swim. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool, Uncle yeah, that's cool. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Maybe someday we'll get to go Paddling together. <laughs> I would love that. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Feature creature teacher fish. Let's look at a few fab, fun, fascinating fish facts. There are more than 32,000 species of fish in this world. Pretty much everywhere there's water, you'll find fish from ponds and lakes to rivers and oceans. Of course, fish live under water. And so they actually breathe oxygen. Now we as people breathe our oxygen through the air and our lungs but fish breathe through their gills. Those gills on the side of their, of their head, they take in water and then the body of the fish takes out the oxygen and then flows the water back out through the gills. Wow, gills. That's one of the things that makes a fish a fish. Another thing that a lot of fish, but not all, have our fins and the fins help them swim. The fin on top of the body is the dorsal fin and it helps keep their balance so they stay upright. So even though there's a few big differences between humans and fish, there are some amazing things that are the same. So fish are actually the first vertebrates. And a vertebrate means a backbone, a spine. And we as humans, we have that. But fish were the first ones that they think that developed that backbone. <laughs> and fish have been on this planet for more than 500 million years. So they have really adapted. Along with that backbone, they also came up with some things that we have, like a skull and a hinged jaw and teeth. <laughs> so fish were the first. Isn't that amazing? 
They don't have eyelids, so fish can't blink. <laughs> and they also don't sleep. Now they do rest. Fish will just kind of hang out, but they're not really asleep. I guess they kind of have to stay aware all the time because something might come to eat them. And fish actually have ears, although their ears are not like our ears on the outside. They're on the inside of their body, and what they hear is vibration. Yeah, fish have a vibration conversation with their ears. Like us, fish can feel pain, and they can feel stress. They also are very social. And fish will often help each other out. They live in cooperation. Catch our full feature creature teacher fish segment in our Leaping Literacy Library. Mankind has been polluting the earth for decades. Some things not as bad as others, but this goes way past bad. For 58 years, most of the trash thrown in the ocean has been moving toward one place, the North Pacific Gyra. It's so big, twice the size of Texas, that it can be seen from space, and it's been named. The island of floating waste is called many things, such as 
the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, the Pacific Trash Vortex, Trash Island, and the Pacific Plastic Soup. This is not the first trash island, but by far the biggest. This student-authored book was written long ago, yet is still available in our Leaping Literacy Library. Unfortunately, many of those facts in Trash Island are still true today and have even gotten worse. Generally referred to as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, or GPGP, This huge expanse of floating trash is in between California and Hawaii and is indeed twice the size of Texas, or three times the size of France. The students in 2008 dedicated their book Trash Island to those cleaning oceans. Five years later, in 2013, the ocean cleanup was founded and started their powerful solutions to cleaning up this plastic pollution. This is Boyan Slat, founder and CEO of the Ocean Cleanup. When he was 16, he went snorkeling in Greece and saw more trash than fish. He kept pondering, why don't we just clean it up? Yet do visit theoceancleanup.com for yourself to read and see lots more, as well as follow their amazing progress. Yes, unfortunately, there is so much garbage, especially plastic, in all of the seas around the world. And it is such a great and hopeful thing that people like Boyan Slat and the Ocean Cleanup are getting in there and doing what they can. And of course, we need to do our part. The easiest thing that we can do Stop using plastic. All right. I can't say that enough times. (laughs) And I have to keep saying it to myself, too, because it seems like so many things that we go to buy are in plastic. Yes, there is so much trash in all of our seas around the world. You know what else is in all of our seas around the world? Fish who like to swish. Let's go. Join us in our Leaping Literacy Library for the full segment with Boyan Slat, as well as the Lori Storybook International Fish Swish and Light Tales, a Lori Storybook. Deep, deep, deep in the big as well as Lori's story, Shell Art Fish Project. Our full fish swish show, as well as the whole Sea Splash series of ETV, is always streaming commercial-free in Leaping Literacy Library along with so many Sea Splash Lori Storybooks and Lori Storytimes. Thanks for coming to play. Bye, friends. Swish, swish, swish. So we'll see you again real soon. Bye, friends. Leaping literacy. TV. Come on.